Grace and peace, people of Rose Park. We continue in our weekly study of the book of Psalms. We've gone through Psalm 1 and through Psalm 8. And this week, we skip ahead to Psalm 24. I'd imagine for many of us, when we think of the book of Psalms, we think of Psalm 23, the Good Shepherd. This is perhaps one of the most famous psalms in all of Scripture. It's a psalm that's taught to us as young children. And I, and I don't mean to skip over that psalm, but perhaps instead to highlight a psalm that comes right after it that we naturally skip over. And so I'd, I'd encourage you to, to certainly spend time in Psalm 23 and to hold that at the forefront of your mind. But for this video, we're going to go to Psalm 24, a psalm that we typically skip over after reading the famous Psalm 23. So open up your Bibles and go to Psalm 24. Take out a pen or a highlighter or a journal if you need it. If you're listening to this while walking, simply enjoy Scripture being poured over you. But before you do, would you pray with me? God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, your word tells us that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So God, may this word light up our path as we continue to follow after you. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Hear now a word of the Lord from Psalm 24. A Psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's, and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. For he has founded it on the seas and established it on the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false, and do not swear deceitfully. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 24 has so much richness in its words. I have a, a small subtitle in my Bible, and I wonder if you have it as well. It says, Entrance into the Temple. Imagine hearing Psalm 24 be read or sung or recited as you enter into worship. There seems to be uh, an, an imagery in this psalm of going up and coming down. There's some height to this psalm. We hear, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and lift up your souls, lift up your heads and be lifted up. Psalm 24 is very clear in telling us, those who do not lift up their souls to what is false, they will receive blessing from the Lord. So those who lift up their heads to God and God Almighty, those who will receive the blessing. Friends, as you continue in this week, would you consider asking yourself, who are you lifting your head up to? Who are you uh, seeking wisdom from? Who are you finding your identity in? Is it in what is false? In what is temporary? Or it is in God? Is it in the eternal? In what will last forever? What are we modeling to those around us? What are we modeling to the next generation of the church? What are we modeling to the community, to non-believers? Are we lifting up our heads to what is false, or are we lifting up our heads to God and to God alone? And then I'd encourage you, 
as you join us for worship next Sunday, as we begin Lent, I would encourage you, as you come into our sanctuary or as you prepare to participate in worship virtually, would you, would you be reminded of Psalm 24? Would you read Psalm 24 prior to worship? Would you let those words reign over you? So as you prepare for worship, you hear, Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. As you continue in this week, as you continue in your walk with Christ, and as you prepare for the season of Lent, may you be reminded that he is the king of glory. Grace and peace, and we look forward to seeing you soon.